Hey hippies, welcome, welcome, welcome back. It's Courtney Shavante here. I'm back with another banging resin tutorial for you guys. And this one's going to be for my Afro Yogi meditation tray. I'm super excited to bring this tutorial to you guys. Make sure you do hit that subscribe button for me. Also hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything that I do put out for you guys. And yeah, let's go ahead and get started so I can show you guys how I make this awesome tray because representation matters. hippie so to get started we're just going to go ahead and prep our mold here and then we have about 20 milliliters of resin you can bump it up to about 30 if you would like to but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and add in a little bit of pigment um, I'm adding in my black mica powder I'm going to mix that up really really well making sure that I get out all those little chunks and stuff and then I'm going to go in with a few drops of my alcohol ink here just to make sure it's nice and opaque now make sure you do mix that in very very well because the alcohol ink does try to sit at the top of the resin once you do have everything mixed up very thoroughly what you can do is you can just go ahead and pour this directly into your rim um, go ahead and pour a nice little layer I like to pour a little bit to start out with and then I kind of move it around especially um, in this portion where her afro is and everything just because I don't want any air bubbles to get trapped and this will help fill that in and then once I finish with that I'm just going to pour the remaining resin to go ahead and fill that on up and then we're just going to allow this some time to cure of course. All right, once that is cured, you're going to go ahead and prep 90 milliliters of resin. I've colored this resin using some glow powder and also a little bit of alcohol ink. Now I'm going to add in some white mica powder here and I'm just going to mix this up really, really good here. And this is just going to um, make sure I get kind of the hue I want. I wanted this to have more of a metallic look to it versus, you know, the clearness of the alcohol ink and that glow powder so yeah that's why I went ahead and added that on in and as you can see like it creates like a lot of different like little swirly things in there with this metallic um, mica powder and stuff I totally love that effect now what I'm going to do first is I'm going to actually pour about half of this um, directly into my mold and from here I can just go ahead and make sure that I have it into the etchings and try to reduce the amount of bubbles that may you know come up or anything like that. Um, next I'm going to come in with a little bit of my glitter mix. I do have my glitter mixes available on my Etsy shop so make sure you do check those out if you are interested. A little bit does go a long way. As you can see See, I just added in a tiny tiny bit in here I'm just going to mix this up really really well and then I'm going to go ahead and pour this directly on in and it's all going to just kind of mix in together now once you go ahead and clear out all the resin from your cup you're just going to allow some time for this layer to cure as well This is the part where you're going to go ahead and demold your resin piece. So I wiggle the mold, never the resin, and then I just pop that out. And it doesn't have any like um, hard pieces on the back. So I'm just going to jump right into painting the etching since I don't have to sand. I'm using black acrylic paint. You can find it on my Amazon storefront. So if you're interested, um, it's there. But if you just want to go to Joann's, Walmart, Michael's, wherever you get your crafting supplies from, any acrylic black paint should do just fine. And you're just gonna take a paintbrush and brush this paint directly into your etchings. You really want to push the paint into the etchings just to make sure you're not missing any spaces and everything is like really filled in and there aren't any air bubbles trapped within those etchings you know due to the paint being covered and whatnot so yeah just go ahead and go all the way around take your time make sure that you do have everything um 
add it in don't mind any excess that does get into the excuse me I can't talk today but don't mind any excess that does get into you know the sides or on those smooth edges and everything they do wipe off super easily and I'll be showing you guys exactly how I do so in the very next step but yeah, you just want to continue on making sure that you have this um, filled in really, really well. And then of course, you're just going to allow this some time to dry once you complete. Alright, so now we're just going to go ahead and start wiping this off. I'm using a damp rag and also a spray bottle filled with the alcohol. Um, I sprayed the alcohol directly onto the piece to kind of loosen up that paint. And then I come through with that damp rag. It's not too damp to where it leaves like any wet stains or anything like that. But it is damp enough to actually remove the excess paint and everything. Um, I'm using an old t-shirt right here, but I'm not going to lie, a rag would work a whole lot better as far as like getting into those like tiny little spaces and cracks and stuff to get the excess paint um so what i'm going to do to like kind of get in between the bits of the afro i'm taking a q-tip and i'm just going to make sure that has some alcohol on it too and it allows me to get into those little crevices and everything that are kind of hard to reach with the rag just so that way i can make sure all the acrylic paint is removed that i don't want on there for a more clean and sleek finish um, when we get ready to do our doming layer. So yeah, just go ahead and continue going through, get any extra tools it is that you need. Um, sometimes I will use toothpicks to get into those really, really tiny areas and that works just fine as well. You don't have to worry about too much about scratching because the doming layer will, you know, kind of help seal in anything that does happen. So once you're finished getting everything wiped off, we're going to go ahead and prep 20 milliliters of resin here. I'm going to start by pouring about half into the tray. I'm just going to manipulate this resin, pushing it all into these crevices, trying to make sure that I avoid any like little micro bubbles or anything on this final layer. And I'm just taking my stick, I'm moving and pushing this resin all around. I'm getting into the etchings, but I'm being mindful not to scrape too hard or anything like that because because I don't want to scrape the paint and then get it trapped inside the resin layer and you know just it yeah don't want that so what I'm doing is I'm just continuing to add resin as I go just to fill in all these parts and then once I feel like I've gotten it into the major areas that would form the most bubbles that's why I go ahead and just start pulling all the resin from that cup making sure I scrape at it to pull it all out and then I just kind of push it all around just to make sure everything's sealed and we have a nice even layer if you do need to get in with a heat gun that's completely fine um my heat I didn't need to use a heat gun this particular time but I do use it just to manipulate it because it'll help thin the resin out to make sure you do get that even layer that you're going for um, if you do have any drippings that get onto the rim of the tray you can go through with some alcohol and just wipe that off it wipes off super easily and everything as well so you know you don't have to worry about any extra ridges onto that rim but yeah so we're just going to go ahead and allow this to cure hippies and then I'll catch you on the show off Ta da! Here is our finished project here, hippies. I am so obsessed with her. I love how this pink and black combo looks here. And as you can see, this glitter is here, present and ready to be seen. And you've seen how little I actually used in this. So that's how you know that my glitter mixers, they go a very, very long way. So yeah, you're definitely gonna get your coverage, but yeah, look at her. She is gorgeous. I love this two-tone. I love the simplicity of this tray. I love how the metallic 
pink looks on here it just gives it a little bit more dimension and everything and just makes the piece even more interesting to look at that's what the back looks like um, but you know we're gonna focus more so on this front I love how these etchings really just pop out if you guys are really rocking with this tray and you're loving this mold as much as I am make sure you do check out this Etsy shop I also leave any questions comments or concerns down from you below you know I love hearing from you guys and you know I love randomly featuring comments and reviews in my videos so thank you so much for joining me and I'll catch you next time XO Mwah.